hundreds of family members gathered outside the deserted park today to commemorate the second Authorities report at least 30 deaths and close to 100 Five injuries. years since the tragedy closed the gates of Southland Park, but new evidence is claiming form. malicious prosecution and believes Says he'll be he vindicated spent every at last. penny of his fortune so defending Legal himself Eagles from these Green lawsuits. Team defending Southland Park all over oh God, There were people flying everywhere. Was... Body parts. And the victims' Blood. families oh have vowed to appeal the decision. Was... Not guilty. Cleared of all charges. Welcome to the States, 47. This should be a straightforward operation. We need you to penetrate an abandoned amusement park, locate the owner, and take him out. The target is a Joseph Clarence, also known as Swing King. An accident involving one of the rides at the park a few years back forced him to close it down. Our client has made a special request that the photograph you have in your possession be the last thing the target sees. Mr. Clarence has somehow become involved with a narcotics distribution ring, so the park may still have some amusements. Enjoy the ride, 47. What the fuck you looking at, Kraken? I'm here to see Joseph Clarence. Never heard of him. Mr. Swing King? Oh, that sorry ass dig here. What the fuck they call you? Names of a friends, so I don't need one. <laughs> here.
Gotta check you, white bread. Alright, you cool. I can get the money, sweetie. It's as good as mine already. Mr. Spook's got it. We'll open the park. It'll be like old times. No, no, just a few more days. You gotta believe me. Don't say that, sunshine. Mr. Spook's gonna come through, baby. He's good for the money. I won't sign the papers. I won't. You gotta give me one more chance. You gotta. Baby cakes? Sunshine? Hello? Well now, uh, Scoop, and I was just wondering uh, where we were on the whole money thing. Were you? Yeah, see, the thing is, if you remember, you know what we agreed to was, it'd just be a short while and you'd pay in cash and... And... Uh, I know the what the pressure was you were under must be, but the deal is a deal and I was hoping, you know, maybe you could just pay what we agreed on, even though you've been here for heck, more than twice as long as we agreed to, but, but just pay the original amount and move on. Not right away necessarily, but you know, I'd appreciate it. No. You rapping, do she? Depends who's unwrapping me. God damn, girl. I'd have your fine ass unwrapped before you could say, 
Who's that handsome stud on time my ribbon? I bet you could. Oops. <laughs> That's Uncle Joe. Better get back to your post. can buy it all, except Dell, and he's not a bum. Sure he's not. Thanks, Caroline. That's all. Are you all right? Yeah, fine. Go on. <sighs> That's not true. Please? Who the hell are you? How'd you get in here? Carol Ann! My client has hired me to show you this photograph. I don't understand. My client has asked me to ensure it's the last thing you ever see. Please, look at the photograph, Mr. Clarence. No. Oh. Please. Have I suffered enough? I, don't you think I know?
the scoop of the century is a couple of wine guys getting whacked in Chile? It wasn't the victims that caught my eye. It was their killer. I believed it was Mr. 47. The bald killer clone? Come on, Jack. He's an urban legend. Even the CIA and your own FBI say he doesn't exist. We say a lot of things, Rick. It's part of the job. Delgado was a very successful man. Successful men in that part of the world tend to be, well, call it security conscious. Not many people could have done this thing solo. So you went running after a myth? Myth? No, no. It merely caught my attention. One of my CIA friends was also intrigued. The opera incident heightened our curiosity. Have a look.